bad way to start a video. It's Sunday night at half past nine, and I have just finished work early, which was good because my back was hurting, which I will talk about in a second. But I was hoping I wouldn't have to work too long tonight, if at all. And I was sent home. Well, not sent home, I requested to go because he wanted to send someone home. So uh, I elected. Um, we'll start with a little quote today. Edo Portal, high-tech shoes, low-tech feet. This is something I read about a while back and sort of started implementing changes in my life the past couple of years, especially over the summer. Um, basically, I read that modern-day humans, <laughs> when we are walking around day-to-day -day wearing trainers, which have too much padding and support and other kinds of shoes as well, like if you're in work, if you've got your work shoes on, it kind of acts like a cast for the foot um, and nowadays people aren't walking around barefoot as much as they used to and it sort of means that the the muscles and the bones in the foot aren't able to move as they should as homo sapiens so they're not getting strengthened as well as they should um, it was an idea I really liked so I try to train as much as I can when I'm at the gym as close to barefoot as I can get. I don't like taking my socks off when I'm at the gym because I don't imagine people would appreciate me walking around barefoot too much. But I do take my shoes off and I've got these kind of like um, luminous yellow runner's socks, which they just look a little more professional than the regular ankle socks that I would wear. Uh, so I wear them at the gym and it allows my feet to move in, you know, more more ways than if I were just sort of laced into a padded shoe. And it also allows you to get better contact with the floor. So when you're doing things like squats or uh, I do kettlebell get-ups or Turkish get-ups a lot, um, it allows you to feel the feet on the floor more so you know where your positioning is and where your weight's balanced. It's very good. During the summer, I'll tend to be walking the dog a lot. I will walk him down the beach. I'll walk him down the park. I will take my shoes and socks off and I will get my feet connected with the grass or the sand. Not only is it good for the muscles and to to develop those stabilizing muscles. It's also good for just, in well, in my opinion, this might sound a little hippie, but connecting with the earth and feeling the grass in your toes, feeling the sand in your feet is good. It feels good, it's good for well-being, it's good for the soul, in my opinion. Anyway, I have a bad back. Today should have been, well, today is day 15 of the 30 days, 200 kettlebell swings. Um, I don't like the idea of a challenge, so it's more of an experiment. I wanted to see what would happen if I did it for 30 days consistently, 200 swings, uh, halfway through today. I woke up this morning with a bad back, and I still went to the gym, which might have been a mistake. I don't know, but it's feeling not too bad now, so perhaps it wasn't such a bad idea. Um, I went to the gym today. I reduced the weight down to 16 kilograms rather than like last week I was swinging 24 and 32 kilogram kettlebells. Today I just did 16 to get the motion. It wasn't really focused on high weight. It was sort of acting like a rest day. Uh, still, it was a bit sore. Uh, what was I going to say? But yeah, um, I got back home after that and I reread some articles on kettlebells. Um, I think perhaps I tried too much too soon weight wise and perhaps forsook my technique for reps because I'm trying to get these 200 out a day but the idea with kettlebells is you're not going to do a workout you're going to practice the kettlebell movements and that's what I really like about it because it's, it's not so much I gotta go and I gotta do I've said this before three sets of 12 reps of this exercise it's more you you're going to practice the movement and get more proficient with the kettlebells and that's what I really like about it um, but I have been trying to hit that 200 mark regardless of how I feel. And like, you know, I'm not stupid. So far I felt really good, but today I woke up with a twinge in my back. What I think it, well, going back to the articles I read, basically I need to dial it down on the weight, go back to working on technique and get that solid, get a solid foundation, then I can build up. I want to be really proficient with the kettlebells. I want to be able to swing and snatch and clean and press and squat and do all those things um, that I love to do. But there was one guy on Instagram who I follow called Primal Swolger. And he, oh, sorry, I'm just looking through my phone to find out his uh, um, Instagram 
thing because I tried something that he did on his Instagram. I tried it with very low weight, but this was the one. Right, I'll play it for you in a second. I tried it with very low weight, this little movement, and I think that was what twinged my back because I'm just not this proficient with this kind of movement at the moment. It's a bit of animal flow, it's a bit of kettlebells, it's a bit of everything. Um, let's have a look. This is this guy's page. He is somewhat of a role model. <laughs> so this was the movement that I tried. Hopefully I'll um, play consistently. So start off with a push-up, switch to a press. Tried it with very low weight. I started with like eight kilograms. Um, probably shouldn't have gone too far too soon. I only wanted to try the movement, but I think the jerk in motion is what maybe has hurt my back a bit. But look, I mean, look at this guy. Let's go back to him. He's got tons of videos. There he is. Oh, look at him in his smart suit with his mum. Uh, yeah, he's just he's just a good guy to follow. Very motivational, um, and I find one thing I do enjoy about training is copying people that are already good at it. This video feed is fucking awful. Uh, no, I don't want to go back to the quote. I want to go back to this. Um, but anyway, yeah, follow people that are already doing it. You wouldn't seek financial advice from a broke guy in a pub you would seek financial advice from the millionaire <laughs> that you probably don't know in real life. Uh, but the idea is to sort of surround yourself with people who are, are good at what you want to get good at. And I think it's in, I've heard Joe Rogan talk about this a long time ago, um, but I think it's interesting nowadays in that with the internet, because everybody's got access to all like this, this huge amount of information um, and podcasts and books and audio books and things like that, then it's easier rather than being, I need to say this carefully because I don't mean to say the people that are in my immediate area aren't worth uh, spending time with, but you've got a, a wider selection of people. So I can listen to Joe Rogan podcasts and Tate Fletcher podcasts and get that information in when they're not in my immediate area. And there aren't many people that I know around here who are talking about um, promoting healthy strategies for well-being and things like that um it's just very it's very beneficial you know emulate the people that are already doing the things that you want to do and i think that's a good way to get to it this turned a bit rambly but i think i did some good information um one more thing yesterday was my uh, not yesterday last week was my birthday week and i had a really busy week of like social events in the evening so i had very little time to get to the gym but I'm really proud that I managed to do it anyway. So like Thursday evening, I went out for dinner with some friends and we didn't finish the meal until half past 10, which meant I got back home at 11 o'clock. I sat on the sofa and I hadn't been to the gym that day. I sat on the sofa for 10 minutes and I was like, if I don't go to the gym, I'll break my streak of the 30 days. So I got up and I went to the gym and it was late night, but I did my 200 swings and it was great and it was good. And I'm very, very happy that I'm, I'm in that frame of mind now where I want to go. I can't wait till tomorrow to go back to the gym. Even if I can't do my swings because my back's not feeling great, I'm going to do something else. And this is what I love now. I'm becoming that kind of person. It's great. Anyway, thank you for listening. This has been the Kettlebells and Ketones show. Remember, high-tech shoes, low-tech feet. Start living a bit more like Neanderthals. <laughs> I don't know what I'm on about. Right, good night, everybody.